Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the main message of my video, I want to give a shout out to my newest monthly paid contributors, Susan Raby Dunn and Petra Schultz. Donations like yours make videos like this one possible. Now on to the rest of my video. Have you ever heard the saying, when you're used to privilege, equality feels like oppression? This is what it means. For many years, decades even, if not centuries, men were in charge of businesses. They were the ones in executive positions and on the boards of directors. They were the ones in senior and middle management. Men had the privilege of being the only ones who could be in these positions. Then women entered the workforce. Then they started moving into management, first in middle management, then senior management, and eventually the C-suite and the boards. But never were men no longer allowed in management. We went from men being allowed in management and women not being allowed to men being allowed and women being allowed. Women never took away ability. All they took away was exclusivity. Same goes for white people. For many years, decades even, if not centuries, white people were the politicians. They were the only ones who were mayors and city councillors, MLAs and MPs, premiers and prime ministers. White people had the privilege of being the only ones who could be in those positions. Then people of color entered politics. First they sat on school boards, then they started moving into municipal politics, beginning in city council, then mayor, and eventually as MLAs and MPs, and now they're leaders of political parties. But never were white people no longer allowed to be in politics. We went from white people being allowed in politics and people of color not being allowed, to white people being allowed and people of color being allowed. People of color never took away ability, all they took away was exclusivity. And the same could be said about straight privilege, cis privilege, class privilege, able body privilege, and so on. When people of privilege complain about being oppressed because they have to share their position of privilege, they're not actually complaining about oppression. They're complaining about inclusivity and accessibility. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimsieber.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Just search for Kim Siever on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. Thanks for watching. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.